Ben Code bowls Yorkshire back into contention. A Tim van der Hookton inspired fight back from Glamorgan undid lots of Yorkshire's good work on day one of their Headingley clash, recovering from 132 for 7 to ending the day on 310 for 8. And with van der Hookton on 80 and partner Michael Hogan on 40, the visitors were well set to increase that lead in the morning of day two. Hogan's lower order hitting was rewarded with a 50 early in proceedings. Code well stroked away to the boundary to reach the landmark figure. Code had the last laugh though, Hogan's attacking intent got the better of him and he was caught in the deep looking to send it back over the bowler's head. Glamorgan's innings was over quickly after the departure of Hogan, Jamie McElroy was the last man to go, trapped LBW for a duck on first class debut. Glamorgan all out for 330. His knock of 85 built on the dogged work of Root and Carlson early on day one. The Yorkshire innings got off to a less than ideal start. Hogan, already with a 50 to his name, was enjoying his day. He had Cola Cadmore caught behind as he attempted a booming drive. Lowton was Hogan's next victim, falling in his very next over. Bold all ends up for a five ball duck. That brought Joe Root to the crease. The England test skipper got his account for the season open in delightful fashion. Together with Adam Live, they started the rebuilding job, the pair taking the total past 50 with no further alarm. The partnership stuck together through to the interval, shepherding their side into lunch at 65 for two. Live picked up his 50 shortly after the resumption of play, the milestone reached with a push drive through the covers. But Dalthwaite produced an inswinger that would clip Life on the foot in front of middle stump and leave the former England opener trudging off with 52 to his name. Callum Taylor removed the England captain Root, a somewhat soft dismissal, top edging a full toss back over his own head as he looked to clear the boundary. Harry Brooks showed his initiative, taking on Dalthwaite and Taylor to take Yorkshire past three figures. He and Tattersall shared a 50-run partnership, but the latter would be undone by Gamorgan's man of the hour, Van der Hookton, LBW for 15. Brooke would follow him back to the pavilion, Lloyd with the wicket, LBW for 40 and the home side in a bit of trouble at 149 for 6. That brought Yorkshire's other England star Don Best to the crease, looking to impress after his move from Somerset. His first contribution was to take the score to 150. A maiden first class wicket for Jamie McElroy saw Yorkshire reduced to 160 for 7. Fisher his first, caught behind for six. Best lost another partner when Patterson got one that left him from Lloyd. And then Yorkshire were reeling at 175 for nine when Code was brilliantly caught on the boundary by Callum Taylor from the bowling of Douthwaite. Best has shown what he can do with the bat on England duty and replicated that form, shielding Olafia from the strike and taking his opportunity to hunt 200 for his side. It would be Olafia who fell to bring the innings to an end. Yorkshire stumbling into tea at 193 all out. Glamorgan's second innings got off to a difficult start though. Opener Selman was removed by the impressive code. The wickets continued to tumble. Balburnie's wicket was claimed courtesy of a stunning Brook catch. Code's fine form continued with two wickets in an over. Brook's catch this time around was a little more straightforward. Then Carlson departed, a feather edge enough to remove him for a duck. Glamorgan now 29 for 4, and Yorkshire back in the game. Billy Root once again had to dig in, soaking up pressure in the final overs before the close of play. He denied the Yorkshire attack and brother Joe any further opportunities, taking his side past 50 in the process. When the day was brought to a close, Glamorgan's lead had gone past 200, with the score 68 for 4, the recovery underway, and the Welsh side looking to take back some control.